Speaking of comparing it to code, let's go ahead and write three lines of code and compare what the flowchart would look like. So let's say compare to code. Let's say we want to turn a motor on until an encoder has rotated 7.5 times. Now, there are two ways, at least two ways, uh, that you will use in this class to have Robot C read the encoder. The first way is until rotations, where it literally counts how many times you spun it around completely. But the other way is to count the points on the encoder, in, the, in which case if I say until it rotates or until encoder counts 17. And so when you spun it, and it gives you a score of 17. Does anybody in here know what an encoder counts by? Yeah, degrees. So if you've spun it around one time, how many points is that? No, 360. It's one rotation. So you can measure it by rotations or you can measure it by degrees. If you look in your directions for activity three, it'll have you or it'll give you the text that you would use to count it by degrees. It would say until encoder counts and then quad, comma, degrees, or maybe it's backwards. I don't remember now. But there's another way to do it. And the directions will ask you to do it that way. I'm going to show you that way right now here. Let's start by writing out our code. Of course, we've always got to start with task name. Then we open up our little bracket, curly bracket. What's the first thing that needs to happen? Motor needs to be on. Lowercase s, start. Uppercase M, motor. Let's do the right motor. Parentheses, capital R, right, oh, lowercase r, that's a mistake. Lowercase r, capital M, motor. And then I'm going to have it set to three-quarter speed, or at least around three-quarter speed. I'm going to set it to, that shouldn't be a, I'm just messing up all over today. It should be a comma. Set it to speed of 90, just to let you all know that it doesn't have to go to uh, 63 or 127. You can set to whatever speed you want. And I swear that shouldn't exist at all. That should just be a comma. Uh, 90, closure parentheses, and semicolon. And then we'll just put an until statement down. So lowercase u, until, capital R, rotations. Open your parentheses. We will put the number of rotations first, 7.5, comma, and then we'll name our encoder. What is the name of our encoder? Quad. And that's just because it's quadra something encoder, just to give you a short name to make it convenient. Close your parentheses and add a semicolon, like we should have done here, comma, number, but, you know, we screwed up. I'm going to go ahead and add pseudocode over on this one. Just to define what quad is, quad is the name for encoder. Just in case you don't know when you look back at your notes what quad is. But hopefully at this point you do know the name of your encoder. And then what happens when we rotate 7.5 times? We stop the motor, lowercase s, stop, uppercase m, motor. And then what's the motor again? Right motor. This time we'll write it out correctly. Lowercase r, capital M, motor. What is the speed? No speed. Good. Close your parentheses. Semicolon. If it's stopping, why do we need a speed? Then we close our curly bracket. And so hopefully you can all read this code. The motor will turn on until you twist the encoder enough times, and then it'll turn off. Let's write out what the flowchart will look like in comparison. So what do we always start with? Start in a little circular rectangle or rounded off rectangle or slot, I guess is an easy way to put it, start. What's the first thing we do? The motor's running. Run motor at three quarter speed. It's not exactly three quarter, but Close enough. This would be a process. 
you're going to see me write this a little weird. I suggest you watch me write it before you do so you can make sure you fit it in a rhombus. But basically, ask yourself the question. Has the encoder rotated 7.5 times? And then draw yourself a rhombus or a diamond around it. And it's not going to be perfect. It might be a little messy. That is okay as long as you get the idea. That's the important part. Not whether or not you can draw a perfect shape. If no, this is very complicated. I want you all to pay very close attention. What I do if the answer is no. Let the motor keep running. And constantly keep checking to see if it's true. What happens when it's true? When it's true, or yes, yes, stop motor. This would be a process as well. And then we can end our program. And so this is how your robot thinks. The program starts, it starts running the motor. And it's constantly checking to see if it's true every millisecond. And then every millisecond, it keeps current going into the motor so it can spin. Until it's no longer true, then it goes here. And that's it.